right, so we are going sailing today. It's a beautiful, pretty calm day out there, but we have not been off the dock in a couple months now, and we are starting to go crazy. So, boat projects aside, we are going sailing. And Jack is working for a couple hours while I am cleaning up around the boat, trying to get a couple last dishes done, put away some soup I've got that I made yesterday, and get the boat put back together so that we can go sailing. Jack is coming back from the city, and I am knocking off a couple of the little checklist items we've got to double check before we head on out. So I am checking the fluids on the engine, the oil, the coolant, and the transmission fluid. I think the transmission fluid is a little low, so we'll have Jack double check that. Um, now I am cleaning out our seawater strainer, which has gotten pretty grimy. I'm going to show you guys what it looks like here in a second. And one important thing to remember is to close the seacock before you open up your seawater strainer, because if not, you're going to sink your boat. That's no fun. Anyways, we're going to clean this guy out and put it all back together, and hopefully we've got better flow. So I closed this through hole here. You can see it is now perpendicular to the flow of the seacock. And that water, seawater, is coming in and going through this strainer piece here, which I have this basket guy in my hand. He fits in there like so, and strains any algae or anything gross that could be sucked up from outside. Plastic bags, gross stuff. Look how grimy that thing is. That is nasty. So, yeah, we've definitely got some cleaning to do. Alright, so I have now cleaned this guy super well with an old toothbrush. Don't ever throw those guys away. They're really handy for cleaning all sorts of stuff. And now that thing looks like it's gonna do a much better job at sifting through all that sea life and algae. Screw this guy back on. So I'm only dripping a little bit of salt water. Not too bad. I'm trying to catch what I can so it doesn't go down into the bilge. And this guy only wants to be hand tight. You can see right here it says hand tight only. Very explicit. So hand tight only people. But you obviously want it to be nice and snug so you don't have any leakage on your next adventure. Don't forget to open up your seawater seacock after you have put everything back together. If not, you're gonna go start up your engine and you're not gonna have any water coming out and you're gonna overheat your engine. So here we go. We're gonna open this guy back up. And there should be full flow. Thanks so much for watching. If you like our videos, subscribe to our channel below. If you like our videos and want to see more of them, consider joining our Patreon crew today.